His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace today the credentials of the newly appointed ambassadors of Peru, Georgia, Myanmar, Togo, and Guatemala. The ambassador of Peru, Carlos Rodolfo Zapata Lopez, arrived at Skhir Palace, where he was welcomed by the head of royal protocol, and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Georgia, George Yangava, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of the royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The newly appointed ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King as the ambassador of Georgia and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Myanmar, Koko Lat, arrived at Skhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of the royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Togo, Orsama Mohamed Saad, arrived at Skhir Palace where he was welcomed by the head of the royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador.
The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. The ambassador of Guatemala, Acelo Valdares Molena, arrived at Sakhir Palace where he was, where she was welcomed by the head of royal protocol and an official ceremony was held for the ambassador. The ambassador then presented his credentials to His Majesty the King and welcoming speeches were exchanged between His Majesty the King and the ambassador. During the audiences, His Majesty the King underlined the close relations linking Bahrain and their countries and the progress of relations in many areas, wishing them all success. The ambassadors conveyed to His Majesty the King greetings of their leaders and their wishes for abundant health and happiness to His Majesty and further progress and prosperity to the kingdom and its people. The personal representative of His Majesty the King, the minister of the royal court, the foreign minister, the follow-up minister at the Royal Court and the Royal Protocol's chief were present.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, received at Libya Palace today a number of senior royal family members. He confirmed Bahrain is a home for creativity and intellect, commending the contributions of the people of Bahrain in all fields, saying that honoring them is a duty as they have helped in preserving the kingdom's history and creating an aware community. The meeting reviewed a number of issues related to national history and the role of the Bahraini people in reinforcing the status of the kingdom through development, affirming that national unity is and will remain a motivation for continued efforts and dedication. His Rohan is stressed the necessity of creative initiatives that shed light on the rich heritage of Bahrain as a reminder of the country's status as a beacon for cultural, urban and humanitarian modernization. The Prime Minister also reviewed with the audience a number of regional and international issues where he confirmed bilateral and multilateral cooperation is the way to protect the region from economic and security challenges. He noted the importance of exchanged visits among leaders to boost coordination and serve the best interests of the region. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, deputized Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, to attend the opening ceremony of the 20th Middle East Oil and Gas Show and Conference, MIAS 2017. The industry, through innovation and operational excellence, held today at the Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center. His Highness Sheikh Ali expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his patronization of the conference and exhibition, which reflects His Royal Highness's keenness in supporting the oil industry and providing it with all the necessary resources in order for it to play its role in supporting the national economy. His Highness Sheikh Ali conveyed the greetings of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to all the organizers and participants in the exhibition, wishing them success. The Deputy Prime Minister affirmed the Bahraini government, led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, exerts its utmost efforts to develop the oil industry for its key role in economic development. His Highness Sheikh Ali then toured the exhibition, where he commended the organization, saying that it not only attracted the participating global oil companies, but also regional and international institutions. He also said that the investment in the oil and gas industry sector is one of the most important pillars to diversify the investment and industrial portfolio, as well as to open new horizons to petroleum industries and the possibility of the sector's provision of job opportunities for the citizens. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness to develop the sector to enhance its ability to generate returns that contribute to the advancement of the national economy. His Highness noted that Bahrain has been successful in the conference and exhibition industry for its well-developed infrastructure that provides a suitable environment which will achieve economic development in the country. His Honor Sheikh Ali praised the efforts of all organizers of the exhibition, wishing it to be an opportunity for exchanging experiences and successes in all that would develop the oil industry.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, yesterday deputized the Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa al-Khalifa, to inaugurate the 20th Middle East Oil and Gas Show and Conference, MIAS 2017. Global oil companies, regional and international institutions participated in the conference. The Minister of Oil expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for his continuous support to the event since its inauguration in 1979. He affirmed that the government of Bahrain emphasizes the development of the petroleum industry through implementing a number of leading projects in the field of oil and gas, which contribute to developing the national economy. The Minister of Oil stated that the conference will help study the challenges that will face the oil industry in the coming decades, stressing the importance of making good use of oil resources to achieve sustainable development. During the inauguration ceremony, the heads of the organizing committees of MIOS were honored. The MIOS 2017 show and conference held under the theme Transforming the Industry Through Innovation and Operational Excellence focuses on the challenges the industry faces in meeting world energy demand efficiently, safely and responsibly, while it's ensuring a positive financial outcome in a fluctuating oil and gas market, parallel an exhibition which showcases the very latest solutions, products and services. MIOS is in its uh, 20th version. It's been going for almost 40 years now. Of course, it's, uh, it's in full collaboration with the Society of Petroleum Engineers and uh, involves the, the oil and gas companies of the region, uh, the service companies and many other multinational companies that join us in this event every year. Many technical papers are presented and it's an opportunity to uh, share experiences and knowledge. And, uh, uh, people in this industry look forward to it every two years. The packed conference agenda includes more than 270 papers presented during 50 technical sessions covering topics related to reservoirs, production and facilities, exploration and appraisal, drilling and completions, project management, HR, business models and health, safety, security and environment. This MIOS, I believe it's going to be different, especially after the past two and a half years that we in the, in the, in the, in the oil and gas uh, had to go through the downturn. So we're hoping uh, that this MIOS will uh, bring new technology, uh, new ideas to improve, uh, you know, whether to improve drilling or production. The content-rich four-day conference and three-day exhibition brought in over 8,000 oil and gas professionals and aims to provide the unique opportunity to be a part of an ongoing transformation of the industry. The 20th edition of the Middle East Oil and Gas Show and Conference will take place until the 9th of March and continues to be a premier platform for sharing ENP knowledge and expertise in the region. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah, chaired the Council's weekly meeting today in which they approved the issuance of a statement regarding the relief of the displaced people from Mosul. The Council approved reports regarding protected cell companies and another one on Decree Law 23 of 2016 regarding trust funds. It also approved a proposal regarding the increase in appropriations in the general budget of the state that is allocated to develop the human force of the Ministry of Interior in order to maintain stability and security in the kingdom. The meeting approved another proposal on the launch of an awareness campaign regarding the registration of all adult citizens and residents in the electronic government system. It approved another proposal on the acceptance of those born on December 2011 in the upcoming school year. An official signing ceremony was held today in the South Korean capital, Seoul, for the Bahraini delegation led by the President of the Supreme Council of Health, Lieutenant General Dr. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah Al Khalifa. The ceremony witnessed the signing of an agreement between the Supreme Council of Health in Bahrain and the Health Insurance and Review Assessment Service in Korea to set up the health information system infrastructure for the implementation of the National Social Health Insurance System in Bahrain. The President of the Supreme Council of Health stressed the importance of this agreement in utilizing the expertise of the Korean system to ensure the efficiency and success of the future Bahraini health information system, which will be the cornerstone of the planned reform in the field of health. Sheikh Mohammed bin Abdullah pointed out that one of the pillars of the National Health Plan is concerned with improving the IT infrastructure and health electronic systems to be able to collect and analyze data in order to identify trends and concerns and formulate policies accordingly. The signed agreement will include three main systems, one specializing in financial transactions between service buyers and providers, one concerned with drug administration information, and the third is related 
related to unified national medical records that will be accessible by all health facilities. The president of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities, the BACA, Sheikh Amey bint Mohammed Al Khalifa, today participated in the Turin Islamic Economy Forum, the TAIEF, held in Turin, Italy, and attended by figures from Arab, Islamic, and European countries. Sheikh Amey delivered a speech on the second day of the forum during a session entitled Museums Environment for Economic Development, which aims to exchange experiences to develop cities economically, socially, and culturally, and invest in museums to improve local community issues. Sheikh Amey asserted that efforts continue to achieve partnership with private sectors institutions in order to raise awareness about the importance of culture. She added that Invest in Culture initiative, which was launched 10 years ago, managed to create partnerships with several bodies which resulted in cultural infrastructure projects, including Bahrain National Theatre, under the patronage and support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The conference in Turin aims at offering investment opportunities and promoting economic development. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, the 35th British School in the Middle East, BSME, Annual Head Teachers Conference opened this morning in Manama in the presence of Chief Executive of Injaz, Bahrain Sheikh Hassa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Naimi. The BSME is an independent organization which brings together over 100 member schools in the Middle East that use the British curriculum. The Director General of the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, delivered the keynote address at the conference. In his remarks, he noted that the BSME is a shining example of British Bahraini and British Middle East collaboration, stressing that it contributes to driving mutually beneficial development across the region. He also welcomed the high level of British Bahraini cooperation widely apparent in Bahrain's education sector today through prominent institutions such as the British School, St. Christopher's School and the British College of Bahrain. The Director General emphasized that educational development is enshrined in the National Action Charter and is a core pillar of Bahrain Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 under the wise leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and is supported by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince's commitment to increase educational attainment across the country. He praised the efforts of the Supreme Council for Development of Education and Training, presided over by the Deputy Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa. He underscored the important role the Supreme Council plays in developing strategies and initiatives aimed at strengthening the kingdom's educational sector in line with the international best standards. Concluding his remarks, the Director General confirmed he was looking forward to hearing the innovative and fresh approaches that BSME members are applying in their schools around the Middle East before finally reiterating Bahrain's delight in welcoming the BSME annual Head Teachers Conference back to the Kingdom. Bahrain hosted the 23rd Conference for the Special Libraries Association, also known as the Arabian Gulf Chapter, today under the patronage of Dr. Sheikh Khalid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, the Vice Chairman of the Board of Trustees and Executive Director of the Isa Cultural Center, gathering librarians from all over the world. More on the conference with Hib Abdel Ghaffar. With the participation of 400 speakers and about 95 institutions and global companies specialized in providing the best services and practices in library science and learning resources and knowledge from various countries, the 23rd Conference for the Special Libraries Association, entitled as Quality of Library and Information Training and Educational Programs, the Roadmap Toward Accreditation, kick-started today, highlighting important aspects of establishing the cultural knowledge through a very special specialized agenda that encourages productive thought in the field of library science and learning resources, hence helping to provide integrated and advanced services to individuals that meet all their levels of technological and cultural differences. I'm here today to talk about how important it is that uh, human beings are involved in this library world that we're developing. Technology is fine and great, but uh, I'm here to talk about uh, not artificial intelligence, but artificial stupidity. Actually, the foolishness that some computerized work leads us to, which needs to be uh, overridden by the human element. Publisher, aggregators, and the knowledge uh, producer come together with librarians and information professionals. The exhibition gathered librarians from all over the world, provided them plenty of space for networking and a great platform to showcase their products and network to evoke their grave responsibility to activate their role in enlightenment of knowledge. We have fantastic engagement with all the librarians here. 
and we're very happy to be offering some products which are more deeply embedded in the Middle East. Professional working body from the UK and uh, we offer journals, books, databases uh, for chemists and all related chemistry subjects like medical, bio, biological, uh, environmental sciences. I'm here attending SLA to obviously network with uh, all of the uh, medical libraries uh, that are present. Um, we do offer learning and medical learning. Um, we do educate doctors. The event was an inspiring multicultural experience, awakening the spirit of open-mindedness and motivation toward innovation, creativity and the spread of greatest human values. Since an investment in knowledge pays the best interest, Bahrain hosts the 23rd Conference for Special Libraries Association, aiming to synergize with today's innovative knowledge alongside with the creativity of knowledge and information provision strategies in respect to the changes in the techniques of human polarization of knowledge. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Heba Abdel Ghaffar.